Well, this is Seymour Rocks reporting from down under. Uh, yeah, sometimes just things leap out at me from the page, as it were, just looking. I found this on Facebook this morning. This is from South Sam Karana saying, very little sea ice north of Greenland. Indeed. Um, but something was not quite right when I looked at this. Uh, this does not compute because here we are north of Greenland. How um, on earth do we get pictures of the ice? Uh, I've never seen it before. Um, and then I made a query to a friend on Twitter and came back quite quickly with the answer. And the answer is this. They have a um, Something called nighttime imagery, uh, band enhanced near constant contrast. So if you um, if you go in, of course, uh, that's what you can see. So uh, that's explained that little kind of anomaly uh, for me. But I can't say. I'm very impressed because part of the role in people who are putting out this information uh, is to educate people. Part of educating people is to show them how to find the information, in fact, to show how you got uh, the information. And on a similar sort of basis, I, I, I'm not impressed by people who uh, post quite legitimate pictures from uh, NASA Worldview um but uh leave it leave the date stamp off it so it's kind of making it their um their property which it's not um so that's the one thing that's something that i think is uh is true but slightly misleading um but then there's uh something else which i think might be of a uh particular nat of a, of, of a different nature. I reported on about a uh, a week ago, and this is thanks to, I've got two friends on uh, Twitter, Chris and Larry, and I sometimes enjoy uh, join in on their discussions. And this is about uh, a program called Mosaic, uh, which involves a ship called the Polar Stern. Uh, that is hoping to remain uh, for the entire winter season trapped in the ice. Uh, and it's to take the closest look at the Arctic as the epicenter of global warming to gain fundamental insights that are key to better understand global uh, climate change. And uh, hundreds of researchers from 19 countries will take part in this exceptional endeavour, etc, etc. Uh, there's information here uh, about the about the ship, and then about an entire year trapped in the ice. So that's all very good. Um, and then uh, earlier on Friday evening, boat time, the team of the Mosaic expedition reached their definition, the flow which had been chosen some days before. So there they are, they've arrived. And uh, this is a photograph uh, that's shown. Um, and another picture. Uh, but there's only one problem, once again. Uh, this is a week ago, so this is on October the 2nd. Uh, the places that they are sending the photographs from and are purporting to take uh, pictures of is all in this. And of course now even uh, it's even darker. So it, there's just simply no sunlight. Here goes uh, a measurement of the sunlight in the area. Um, so how can they take these pictures without uh, without sunlight. So I'll, I'll just uh, 
I won't stay with this. I'll put this uh, in the description box uh, below. But then there's another expedition to the pole uh, that I didn't uh, know about, which I will um, discuss now. Um, at the North Pole, uh, with kind of, you can see there's a little bit of sunlight here. Uh, and yet, uh, there's just one small problem with that, as with all of these other things. And that is the problem. So how can he possibly be taking pictures at 89 degrees north, when at 89 degrees north, the sun is not shining and is not going to be for another five or six months. So I don't like to be this cynical, but how can I take everything at face value from a website that says all of these things and paints a picture which is just doesn't seem to coincide with what's true. But I, I'm not going to uh, suspend my critical thinking and I'm not going to make any uh, conclusions other than what these people are saying just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And I have to kind of wonder what the whole motivation, is it about pure science or is there another um, or is there another agenda at play here? I mean, with Polish Dam, are they going to tell us the truth about what's happening in the Arctic? Well, when I can't even look at their pictures and tr trust their photographs and that, the, that they, and I can't trust that they are where they say they are, how can I trust anything more that's coming out? I mean, that's my own kind of uh, personal reaction. And I don't think that that makes me a denier. That just makes me someone who uh, observes things um, and asks questions. So if you can come up with a logical explanation of why uh, these people should be showing pictures showing the sun shining in the Arctic at a time when the uh, Arctic is in darkness, then I'll be very pleased to hear your um, thing. But just just don't tell me that because climate change is true, that everything that's written about it and said about it is also true. So, uh, yeah, feeling a bit sceptical today. Uh, Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under.